Okay, so you can see where this fascia or slide or what's this thing called? A ski. A ski. Slide ski. Slide ski is, is torn up. And there's a, a screw that's down deep in there that you can't really see, but it's pointed towards us. So we had some duct tape on there just to keep it sealed up while we are on our last camping trip. Ah, left some residue, doggone. But uh, anyway, we're about to take these screws out, take this little deal off, that way we can get this, get this old chewed up ski off here. So I got the other screws out while the slide was out. Got one last one here on the inside. Watch out, this got some very sharp. Do you need gloves, baby? Probably. You need to go get you some? Jen's going to clean up that other little piece. So I gotta get the rest of this ski off. You see the edge was just, it's just shredded by that screw that was in there that was laying between the, between the okay. ski and the floor inside. So it had the double-sided sticky holding the ski on. Another ladybug, there's gazillions of them up underneath here. Ugh, that sticky tape. Ugh. All right, can't get it up. Can't go up any further until I get the uh, get the slide jacked up. Time to go get the jack. All right, after getting it jacked up, can actually look in there and see the extent of the damage of that screw that was laying on the floor, just gouging up the edge of that slide. You see where the lip was, and then that screw just gouged the the rest of the edge of that thing all off. So we're trying to get that butyl tape off. That old butyl tape this stuff is nasty. All right, test trying the uh, the ski. It's about six inches short from the wood to there. So we'll measure the other end and cut it off on the outside. All right, after measuring and cutting, we got the right length there. It is, uh, so this front part right here drops down a little bit. I don't know if you can really see, but this little deal comes down there. So I had to cut down around the edge of that to fit so that it would pull up flush with the bottom of the ski. So I ended up trimming out this little area right there so that it will clear the rug and the outer portion of the I guess the seal or whatever you call that thing alright so we're running our butyl tape down the length of the ski I need to peel the plastic back the paper back that butyl tape is alright so we're gonna get it from the inside got our butyl tape Jen's on the outside getting it set so we're gonna get this up underneath this lip then we'll peel the butyl tape off from the side and then work it up underneath to the outside where Jim will pick it up on the outside yeah just mark it right above so we know where they're at Go ahead and press that up. Make sure you're even on the edge there. Yeah. I've already pressed in the inside. All right, so Jen's pressing it up. I got a little, little hammer. We can do a little rubber mallet. You need to do it a little bit? Sure. Okay. We're ahead and trimming this extra little piece of fash off. All right, so I'll make sure the little holes line up and they match where we made our little Looks dot like so it. we'll slide that on in through there to the inside okay babe all right so she's sliding in over this way all right got it so jen's prepping the butyl tape to fit inside the rail there we peeled some out a little while ago so we know this is where it goes she's getting it lined up Alright, so now I'm just going to press it down in that groove. So this kind of C-shaped. It's kind of cupped a little bit. 
All right, sliding it in, get it right here. Okay, right, so we did our fascia, screws are in. All right, had the beetle tape squished out the sides. Everything's in. All right, let's uh, let's bring the slide out all the way. Looks good. New ski is in place. I'll go back and cut this little, trim that butyl, butyl out of there with my little exacto blade. But so it is down. New ski is in place. Should work. All right. Now I just noticed something on why I may be having issues with that front part of that slide. So here's the rear part. Everything looks good. There is like a little ridge right here that just looks a little more pronounced. I don't know if you can't see, but there's a little ridge that the ski sits on over here. I'm going to come back down to the side underneath the fridge here. You see the ridge? See where my finger's at? That ridge drops down and flattens out right before it gets to the ski. See that? The ridge right here sinks down and then it's not... So you don't have the support of the ski on that ridge. That ski is actually sitting on this metal, this metal flange, I guess what you call that. That's not right. Not right at all. All right, so I've run the slide in and out. That seems to have fixed the problem. Went back and put some silicone across the top and bottom. I need to clean that up a little bit before we're done, but I got to go. Jen's got some other stuff for me to do, but anyway, appears to be okay. So I figured out what had happened, where the screw that broke off came from. Right there is where it came out. This plastic had slid up underneath this little side nail, panhead nail, and was up underneath it flat, so the, the bottom of the ski was actually rubbing on this little metal flange but anyway we got everything reapproximated. i gotta get another big screw to put in here to fixate this down we should be good to go all right so i got the little piece of plastic pulled back out right there put a little jb weld in there because it did the the screw did chew up a little groove right in there and of course jb weld smeared everywhere i put a little piece of plastic over the top i scratched that off but anyway um uh, Appears to be working. We have a smooth, whatever this lip is called. And it goes in and out. Doesn't appear to be tearing up anything. All right, got the slide all sealed up. Everything fixed on the inside. Jen's gonna bring that in. All right, getting the slide put in. Everything appears to be working good. Got it extra sealed with silicone. Looking good. <laughs> 